Happening today, suspended Broward Sheriff Scott Israel could find out today if he gets his job back. The state Senate is expected to hold debate and a vote to either uphold the governor's suspension or reinstate him. CBS 4's Carrie Cott is live in Tallahassee with more on what's expected later today. Carrie? Good afternoon, Maribel. Judging by the party line vote by the Senate Rules Committee on Monday, it's clear that former Sheriff Scott Israel faces an uphill climb to get his job back. Today, 23 Republican senators and 17 Democratic senators, the entire Senate, will go into the Senate chamber here in just about two hours, and they will start this debate and actually vote. Yet one Republican senator is expressing some concern about what he sees as a potential dangerous precedent by removing former Sheriff Israel. It's decision day for former Broward Sheriff Scott Israel. At 2 p.m. Wednesday, the full Florida Senate will convene in the Senate chamber to decide if Israel should be reinstated or removed. Families of the Parkland victims like Tony Montalto, whose daughter Gina was murdered, are adamant that Israel must go. And if there's systemic failures due to the incompetence and negligence, as we've seen here in Mr. Israel's BSO, he needs to be removed. Governor Ron DeSantis suspended Israel earlier this year, citing his handling of the Fort Lauderdale Hollywood Airport shooting and the Parkland shooting, as well as criticizing the active shooter policy that Israel changed, giving deputies greater discretion on whether to engage an active shooter. However, the attorney appointed to oversee Israel's Senate trial this summer recommended that Israel be reinstated, saying the Stoneman Douglas shooting was a culmination of individual failures. The recommended finding is that the governor has not sustained the burden of proof by a preponderance of the evidence. But a majority of the Florida Senate Rules Committee looked past that recommendation and voted 9-7 along party lines Monday night to recommend to the full Senate that Israel be removed. Republicans were almost completely united in their criticism of Israel and the way he handled his deputies. There were eight who failed. All right? That's called an institutional failure. Democrats saw it differently. I'm sorry. But the governor has not met his burden to justify the extraordinary act of removing a constitutionally elected officer. One Florida senator, Tom Lee from Hillsborough, said he was troubled by what this decision could mean for other Florida sheriffs. I think it would set a really dangerous um, new precedent here in Florida. And, and I can't do that lightly. CBS 4 News spoke to Lee on Tuesday. He said embedded in this is a precedent that would allow a governor to suspend any sheriff for the single act of a single deputy on one given day, and that just defies common sense. But even if Republican Senator Lee votes to reinstate Israel, that would still leave a majority of 22 other Republican senators who could vote in favor of removing former Sheriff Israel. We'll see how all this plays out beginning at 2 o'clock today. Senators have allotted four hours for debate and vote. Live in Tallahassee, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News.